I am Adil Kumar. This video is for my viewer who has posted an excellent question. Let me first thank you for watching my videos, taking interest and asking questions. The question here is, find the domain of y equals to log x cubed minus x. Now for logarithmic functions, we know the base could be anything, however, this argument here should always be greater than zero. That is the whole idea, right? To find the domain. So what we are going to do is that we are going to analyze x cubed minus x. You could always factor this. You can have x is common, so we get x square minus one. So this could be written as x square minus one. And x square minus one can also be factored. And we can write this as x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now, you could do interval method of finding the intervals where this is positive or you could sketch it, right? So there are two options from here. One option is to sketch. The, the other option is use interval method. Right, so we'll go with the first option to sketch the function. We have a polynomial with three zeros. The zeros are at x, x equals to minus one, and x equals to plus one. Since the leading coefficient is positive, right side is up, and therefore we can actually sketch this function as this. It's a cubic function. Right, so that is how it could be sketched. Now from the sketch, you can easily see the region where the function is positive, right? So the function is positive in this interval and after this. So that becomes the domain of logarithmic function. You should not include the zeros right so so you should not include the zeros so on a number line you will show it like this is that clear so i can now write down the answer that the domain of log of x cube minus x is you can write in this fashion that x belongs to real numbers where x is greater than this is minus 1, that is 0, this is 1, minus 1, less than 0, union, x is greater than 1. Does it make sense to you, right? So that is how you can easily show the answer. For some of the students who adopt the method of uh, interval, they could actually make the different intervals based on the zeros. The zeros here are at minus one, zero and plus one. So these are the zeros. You have to take test points in the intervals, minus infinity to minus one, test point could be minus two. This is minus half, that is half, and this could be two. Now if you substitute these values here, then let's call this as as g of x, right? In that case, g of x will be what? If I substitute a negative 2 value here, then all the 3 will be negative. All 3 negative will mean that I will get negative in this interval. But if I substitute minus half here, in that case, this and that will be negative minus half plus one is positive. Two negative means a positive here, which we see in this portion. Then half is going to give me negative only for x minus one. These two will be positive, and therefore this is negative. And if x is greater than one, then we are going to get positive as shown here. We are looking for a value where x cubed minus x is greater than zero. Therefore, these two intervals are our solution. And we can write 
that the domain of this function is equal to from this is another way of writing minus 1 to 0 so which is not including right union from 2 1 to infinity right so which is 1 to infinity so that's an alternate way of writing the domain so I hope these two methods are absolutely clear follow the one which you have been taught or you like thanks for your question and thanks for watching feel free to like and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best